I learned a lot from my first backpacking trip last October. I've refined my gear and taken steps to ensure that this trip will be smoother than the last. My new backpack is a Gregory Denali Pro, the largest they make. It's only 10 liters larger than my previous pack, but the design makes it much easier to accommodate the bulk of my gear. I've also replaced my sleeping pad with the Thermarest Neo Air. Not only is it significantly smaller and lighter, but it's also much more comfortable. I store my sleeping bag, sleeping pad, and down jacket in the bottom of my bag. My bulky and heavy camera gear sits in the middle, and the top is used to store cookware, food, and water filtration. I'm bringing along four film holders loaded with several different types of film. Fuji Velvia 50, Kodak Ektar 100, and Kodak Portra 160. Eight sheets of film might not sound like much, but I doubt I'll even use half of it. I've already descended a pretty big, steep monolith of sandstone and uh, working my way down this slick rock now. And then once I'm down from here, it's about a three mile trek to my destination. And there's partially cloudy skies right now. Hopefully that will clear out, but uh, wide open, beautiful country. Taking a little bit of a break in the shade right now. I'd say I've hiked about a mile and a half or so. First part was a really steep downhill. Now I'm doing a cross country area. And uh, it's not particularly hot today, or I'd say it's maybe about 70 degrees. Um, but just all the exposure to the sun, all the light reflecting up off the sand, uh, definitely is, uh, it's, it's, you know, takes a little bit of effort. My pack is a little bit lighter this year than on my last backpacking trip. So that's been nice, but also it's a different backpack and the harness is a little more comfortable, which is nice. If I was using the same pack I used on my last trip, I think by now I might have some bruised hips. Another thing that's kind of cool, this backpack, it's made in USA, and I've been making an effort to get a lot more stuff that's been made in USA lately. And sometimes it's a little difficult to find, but it's out there. So, Anyways, going to head on out and make my way to my destination for the day. Just below the large sandstone butte on the left is the entrance to Neon Canyon. It's a very impressive side canyon to the Escalante River and my primary destination on this trip. Neon Canyon is known for its abundant desert varnish. These bold vertical streaks of dark iron oxide are incredibly photogenic, and my goal is to find a composition that displays them at their finest. I went ahead and set up camp. I found this kind of cool campsite here that's up really nice and high, which is good, because you don't want to be down low in canyon country, because if some freak rain comes over, yeah, you don't want to be in a wash. But uh, it's mostly sunny out, a few clouds out there, and those clouds do kill reflected light, so um, I don't know if I'm gonna get any reflected light today, but I'm here tomorrow all day, and then the day after that, I'll leave at some point during the day. Uh, my plan is to kind of scout things out and see if I can find any shots. It's a little chaotic in places, but um, I think there's a lot of potential here. Uh, I've done some uh, some uh, chores already today, pumped some water, um, made some lunch. So after I fill my belly, it will be time to scout around and see if I can find any shots. It's a pretty cool place, and this is like one of the most peaceful campsites I've had in quite some time. There's birds chirping, slight breeze, the cottonwoods smell just amazing. Um, when I was going over the canyon rim to drop down in here, you can smell the cottonwoods before you can see them. And uh, so, pretty awesome place. Well, it is now evening time, and I've gone up and down this canyon probably about three times today and it's all a matter of seeing how the canyon looks at different times of the day and maybe finding a shot today, maybe find a shot tomorrow. 
and I've kind of narrowed my search down to two areas that are pretty close to each other and one of which is what you see behind me here. Uh, pretty cool area, got some of the desert varnish up there, some really nice looking trees and my goal is to get that wall in some reflected light in the background and I found essentially one that's going to be the case but the problem there are some clouds today so I didn't get the wonderful color that I was really hoping for so I think my plan is going to be to leave the camera in position overnight and try for that shot tomorrow and hopefully there's not going to be any clouds tomorrow and I think that's what the forecast is calling for um, I still might take a shot today just because the camera's set up in case there's something completely not going right tomorrow like if it's completely overcast but I think this scene would do definitely do better with some really nice reflected light on it I am back now to home sweet home and the sun is about to set off that way and uh, which is good because that's, that's where it should be but, uh, but yeah, it, was, it was a really long day it feels like it was two days and uh, it was I mean it was good to take a photo today even though I know it's not really ideal but the cool thing is that there was very few clouds today and there was a lot of clouds yesterday and so I hope this trend continues and that it's going to be completely sunny tomorrow. That means I'll be able to get that one photo I shot today but with better light. So now I'm just kind of relaxing back at camp and just think about how awesome it is that I'm out here right now in the middle of nowhere in Utah with an awesome campsite, Escalante River back over my shoulder over there. You can probably hear it a little bit. Birds chirping. It's a beautiful area. <laughs> 